Hi everyone, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a hot topic about how to lose weight. I'm gonna share with you my five top tips about how to lose weight and how to maintain your results. If you've never been in this channel, my name is Bob, I'm a physical therapist, but my background is in sports science and sports psychology. I've been studying for the last 15 years in the field of sport and sports science, and I've been training and coaching many, many people who want to get results, lose weight, gain strength, and basically help them step by step with training and diet to get results. In this video, I'm gonna share with you my five tips. Let's get started. The first and one of the most important tips that I would like to share with you today is to avoid low calories diet. Why low calorie diet not gonna give you results in the long term? In many cases, my clients follow a very low calorie diet and at the same time with a lot of willpower they train hours and hours of aerobic exercise in the gym and unfortunately what happened at the end of the day which they call it results they go and check their body weight on the skills and they say bob i've lost 10 kg over the last three weeks but where that 10 kg came from it's very important for you as my clients if you would like to get results, you have to understand where that weight comes from. And what study and research has shown, with following a low calorie diet and doing hours of aerobic as a training, unfortunately, the majority of the weight that you lose, it can come from muscle. And we definitely don't want you to lose muscle. And I'm gonna explain it to you in my next videos why holding on to your muscle is essential. The second tip that I would like to share with you is to reducing your sugar intake. Sugar has a big family and understanding that family and what actually does sugar into your body, it would be a huge help for my clients and how much sugar can affect your energy level, your um, insulin sensitivity and etc. can be a huge topic that we're gonna talk about it in, in the following videos but what I usually suggest to my clients to read food label which means if you understand what type of food has too much sugar or actually pumped with sugar, you want to reduce those type of food and try alternative type of food. Now, with reading food labels, first of all, you understand what type of food has sugar, and second, you can read other type of content of food that you have in your meal. For example, protein or fat and etc. And that can be a really good habit for you to understand what type of actual nutrients you put in your plate. The next tips that I'd like to share with you guys is to increasing your protein intake. But why? Protein is building block of our body, which means our muscle, our organs, our hair, and even our skin is built with protein. And with increasing your protein intake, you're giving your body a chances to repair those tissues in a daily basis. Plus, with increasing your protein intake, you're basically minimizing the chances of losing muscle through the exercise. When we exercise, we're creating more criteria in the muscle and with increasing your protein intake, you can actually help your body to repair those tissue and help you actually to build muscle rather than losing muscle. Now, every single person need a um, certain amount of protein based on their age, sex, and we're gonna talk about in this topic uh, in the future in a different video. And I'm gonna explain for you exactly how much protein um, you need and how you can get this protein from different sources in your breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The next tips that I would like to share with you guys is to adding weight training in your weekly basis. Why weight training is important? Weight training can simply help you to minimize the chances of losing muscle, but also can help you actually to build muscle. But why uh, maintaining your muscle is important? Because as we age, specifically after age of 30, we lose average around half a pound of muscle per year. And with adding that 20 to 25 minutes of weight training two to three times a week, you can actually maintain your muscle mass. And uh, what is the important about uh, maintaining your muscle mass is that muscle is your basically body engine and can help you to actually um, uh, burn calorie for you. And with maintaining your muscle, you're not gonna even um, be stronger, but also can help you to maintain your body metabolism. The last tips that I would like to share with you guys is to get help from a coach or personal trainer in your own area. Why do you need a personal trainer is that because that personal trainer and coach can help you not only with your diet and your training, but also in your accountability, which is like literally they can help you to monitor your progress and show you how you actually getting on with your program in a weekly basis. Now, we do have an online program for our clients that actually can help them get results and basically monitor their progress in a weekly basis. If you need any help, you can send me a simply email and I would be happy to help you with your diet and your training. 
but also if you have any question about your diet and your training you can always leave me a comment underneath of this video and I would be happy to help you we're going to talk more about diet and training and tips about um, how to lose weight in the following videos and I'm going to prepare more materials about these topics Thank you for watching this video and giving me all this suggestion and idea about how to help you with your diet and your training and your rehab plan. If you have any question or suggestion, please write me underneath of this video and I would like to be able to help you with some sort of video or content that can be useful for you in the future. We're going to talk more about diet and training and how to help you to get results in the following videos. Until then, all the best.